Great Hall is not often picked. Giant yellow map with three platforms. Notoriously slept on map here. Yeah. And here we go. Three, Both players two, are going to be struggling to find something on the ground. A wave coming from Addy Mestic. That Tori ends up finding a weapon. Both players finding weapons before even exchanging anything unarmed. But Addy Mestic ends up getting the first hit with the Kantars. Well, I like getting cut up with those Kantar strings right now. Yeah, yeah but just to find the D-Light. Always able to find those bread and butter sword combos to be able to get back in and take the momentum back. He's got Eddie Mystic off stage and he's covering the ground quite well. Had very, very nice coverage from Twilight. Yeah, but finally misses a D-Light and Eddie Mystic punishes. Tosses aside his weapon and gets a hammer. Picks up the hammer and I feel like he's going to be trying to bait out that signature. Possibly, but he's got to land on the ground first before it's even safe to use that. Twilight's doing a great job of keeping Sentinel off of the stage with his side airs. But finally he gets back into the center. Could this be a difference in pace for the Sentinel player? Ooh, neutral hammer. And it makes it Tori drop his weapon. weapon out of his hand. Finds the spear, barely dodges the ground pound. But it's another neutral. Still not dead though. But Tori's in the red, but he's actually doing pretty well. Going for the GP, gets the recovery first stock off Twilight. Excellent coverage by the Sentinel. Taking the ground pound to force Twilight to recover low and then uses his own recovery to send him off the bottom of the stage and taking the first stock. Getting that aggressive side air. White to white stock. Yeah. Twilight holding sword. Denying all the weapons and holding on to his original sword. Eddie Mystic seems to find some unarmed combo though, and Tori's struggling to land anything with the sword. Finds the D-Light though. Sentinel finally picks up a weapon. Insider. Eddie Mystic picking up those Katars trying to get inside of Twilight. Using those neutral airs from the Katars to be able to cover all the all the ground around him. Both players are struggling to get any hits on that are noticeable right now. Spacing quite well, but not finding the spacing to get damage onto their opponent. Eddie Mystic uses that. Excellent side zig. That read is insane. Start up frames to start the combination off Oof. with his. Excellent ground pound, but f misses the follow up. Something that I really liked about that signature from the Sentinel is that. Another neutral. And that sends Another him off the top. neutral air to take the stock. But something that I think that is interesting from the Sentinel is that we often see, at times see a lot of signatures spam from Sentinel players because the, the signatures are so safe and they're so decent, but he's not using them a lot. So when he does, it comes out as a surprise and can make the stock end really early. Hattori's doing a great job of covering his landings right now. Will he be able to kill him off the top? That he missed saying, fuck no. Gets back down. Sentinel's platform, defense is like... too high. Takes him off stage Looks with the Gattars. but he finds the recovery. Excellent usage of that gravy cancel neutral to cover an option. Even if he missed, he knew he'd be able to get the follow up with the recovery. He's got a Tori. Very in the nice red. read from Addy Mystic, managing to slip through that net that Twilight put out with the sideline, and ends it with a down sig. A down sig that was followed up after a jab to keep a Tori off the edge. Excellent option coverage. Game one's goes to Addy Mystic Sentinel. Let's see if we see a counter pick from. I'm gonna have to uh, rejoin that lobby, by the way. Tori's Twilight. You're gonna have to rejoin it? Yes. Okay, do you need the code? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, shoot. Don't start. Fuck. Uh, well, I think you can join on me now, can't you? Because I'm spectating. I uh, should be able to. Little technical difficulties. Three, two, we'll put game one, Daddy Mystic. I'll start doing a solo cast on my own. If you can't join. Right. Tori ends up picking one up one of the weapons in the neutral. Sentinel's still finding difficulty finding a weapon at all. Let's keep going for the mine, but Tori's punishing him. Are you able to join to this thing yet? Um, uh, trying to open it up. Apparently my application's already ready. Right. Oh, okay. But I'll be back in soon. Alright, sure thing. Uh, Sentinel finds Katars, sends Tori off the stage, and is using these down here to cover, to cover his, uh, recovery pretty well. Goes to the recovery and sends Tori back on the stage, but now Tori's got control of center. Gravy cancel neutral sig, try to recover, and sends Tori up into the, uh, into the sky. Excellent jab into recovery kill to kill Hattori off the top. I think Hattori's doing a great job of finding damage, like, just here and there, but he's not really getting a lot of follow-up, and because of Sentinel's defense, if they're trading evenly, in a way, Sentinel is actually winning. Twilight using the sword to be able to try to cover Sentinel's landings. But Sentinel's and I just found winning. my way back into the game. Alright, you're currently spectating? Back in. Alright, great job. Watching Twilight get those nasty side airs. 
Sentinel trying to get back on stage, but with the stock lead he has right now, I don't think he's too worried. Currently holding onto the side of Mammoth Fortress, but gets neutral aired off the top, ends the stock. And Hattori hasn't taken much damage back himself. Very hard to get back on stage with Hattori like this. Using that movement speed to his advantage. And just using side air and jab just to be able to cover and keeping every option. Covered, yeah. yeah. Sentinel finally finds a weapon, however. It's the hammer. We're gonna see whether he can use that correctly against the sword. Gets Who hit by Delay. Side air and gets punished by Twilight. I mean, into a disgusting neutral string. Like every every option I that thought I... that was kill. And there's the side air. Is he gonna cover the landing? and get a kill? Excellent use of the sword to cover his air dodge, but then jumps the follow up. Stops the kill with a dive kick. Another air dodge and a dive kick, stopping Twilight from being able to punch him in the stock. Another downlight down in the side air, though. Twilight takes the stock off Addy Mystic. Currently, the lead's in Twilight's favor right now. Whenever Sentinel has this hammer, uh, honestly, I'm having trouble seeing him try to be able to get into space. It's just too slow. Tori's able to manage the ground well enough with the sword so that the Sentinel can't get any hits in. He's in the red though. Windows where he could use his signatures are just potentially game ending for him the way that Twilight is moving in and punishing and reading. True. Goes for a jab, neutral sig read again, but this time it doesn't work. Tori's mindful of it. He finds the hammer. Gets that cider though, sends him off stage. Could this be the stock with the weapon toss? Waiting patiently to cover those landings. Goes for the D air, doesn't catch, goes for the new chair, neutral air doesn't catch. But Tori opting to fight off stage and ends up winning the trades there. Lobs a bomb. bomb drop. And he gets hit by it, throws the mine and gets rid of the air dodge, he calls for the weapon. Bentinel real happy about that defense right now. Twilight looking for the side air, he finds it. Looks for another recovery kill, can't quite seem to get it. Excellent air dodge go. coverage, and he misses and the... the Z. He misses the side of the stage with his recovery, just barely, and can't get back up. Game 2 goes to Twilight. 1-1, one, one. we're going to Game 3. Very interesting match. I felt the pace of of the game change immediately to when Addy Mestic was struggling to find the Katars. Whenever he had the hammer, he had absolutely no way of being able to get in on Twilight Satori, and he struggled and struggled and was just hit off the map over and over again until he lost the game. And what are we seeing? A character Queen swap. Nine. Yes. I, I have a feeling that it was mainly because of Sentinel's hammer, but but that's that's just a theory. We're going back to the Great Hall now. Any mystic on Queen Nye. This map, I feel, has a little bit of an advantage for Queen Nye. Why is that? A little cramp, she gets the gets that signature range out. Oh yeah. And there's not a lot of alternate platforms. Like all the platforms kinda of benefit the fact that uh her signatures cover so much and in such odd angles. Like her down signature with her spear. As we're seeing right there on the platform. But Atori's doing a great job of managing the stage. And getting in more damage than he's taking. Has an end air to send him up and uses the ground pound to cover. Goes for a very unsafe signature coverage. And ends up getting punished. Any misket any misket find the recovery. I'm not I'm, I feel like he's not in that much danger with that nine defense. True, but I mean how much can that defense help you if all you're doing is getting hit and you're not hitting them back? Tori hits him off the stage with a deal light. Throws aside the, well, the thing is, with my feeling about Addy Mystic's Nye is that if he does manage to get a signature or a good combination off her Katar string, that it will take Hattori to red. But that's not how things work and that, out. But the, the difficulty with that is that it's Hattori versus Queen Nye, the fa one of the fastest, if not the fastest character in the game versus one of the slowest, or slower characters. She's just having trouble finding those strings. And, and while I guess that's true, we haven't seen it from this this Queen Eye player yet. Vittori's got complete control. He keeps going for signatures that are being easily punished by multi-hit strings from uh, Twilight Sword play. It does seem like when Addy tries to get in with his Katars that Twilight is just totally prepared, knows the spacing, and is ready to Yeah, play. just there. We saw Addy Mystic trying to land with the side air. He just walked to the side, he does find his a neutral. Katar neutral and tries to hit him with the recovery to get him off the map, but this is Twilight's it. just keeping his stock. Yep, but there's the side air just to poke him in the face and off the side of the map. Ends the stock 2-2. Two to two. 
white to orange. Yeah, but with Queen Knight, the orange might as well be yellow. Right. Right. Ends up landing that down to you. Any Mystic's starting to get comfortable with those Katars. True. There was an excellent option coverage when he saw that Twilight was using the recovery. He just used his own ground pound to cover and punish it. Well, tries to land with a neutral Katar. But ends up Goes for the end stake, but gets hit with a weapon throw. And even though... And there's those neutral lights, neutral lights coming up from Twilight. Yeah. Even though we saw Queen Nai in the orange and Hattori... Finds the down light side air combo. Looking for the spacing to do it again, Andy Mystic trying to respond with a side stick and get some good counter pressure out there, but both players seem to be finding themselves in neutral again. Yeah, something that Twilight's not doing. Punish for the Finally, that's what I was going to say. Covering the landings. Andy Mystic was putting out some signatures, but he wasn't getting punished, but now Twilight's doing a great job of punishing that. Based on his air dodge. Hit him with the neutral, but excellent Andy use of the, of the down aerial from the unarm to be able to get back to the stage without having to use a jump. But there's the Katar neutral landing that he misses. Goes to the ground pound but doesn't hit it. And another Double air neutral takes him out. It, ser it seems as though the Great Hall's platforms are benefiting the Satori because he's doing a greater job of keeping his enemy Ooh, in the air. And the, and the side air with that big attack from Queen Knight. The second side air from Queen Knight and the stock. Only the differences between last stock is that Queen Knight's no longer in the orange. It's even. The Tori's going to have to do a lot to be able to get the damage off to be able to kill this Queen Knight in a way that he's not going to be killed first. However... Twilight does have a sword this time around, and he's a lot. I feel like he's a lot more comfortable in this matchup with a sword as opposed to a spear. True. We haven't been seeing any spear play from Twilight here so far. Eddie Mystic, though, winning out in the neutral with his weapon tosses in his arms, finds a Katar. But Twilight's covering him with these neutral uh, aerials. Eddie Mystic feeling really comfortable with Twilight at the top of the platform, trying to find any kind of sneaky Katar recovery, Ooh. but. I almost, for the end, gets punished. I almost want to say that neutral sig was a misinput, because I don't know what he was covering with that. It just made him blatantly punished. But Twilight's finding himself in the deep red. It's only going to take one signature from this Queen Knight to be able to end his stock. And he's just running around waiting for his sword. If he's too he's desperate. Movement speed. But gets caught by the recovery. Do one, Addy Mystic. 